What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to fix any guitar cable, whether you have this metal end or you, if you have a plastic end. The only thing you really need is this Switchcraft quarter inch male cable connector. And this is for guitar cables. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get this at. So when you open it up, it's gonna come in three pieces. All right, so it's gonna come with the casing, all right, to protect the solder connections. It's gonna come with the clear tube right here that goes inside the metal casing and obviously the male connector right here. Now, whether you have a plastic end or a metal end like this one, you know, all these eventually will go bad. And these cables are anywhere between 15 to 35 bucks, depending on the length and the quality. If you have a plastic end, this is what you're gonna do, and you wanna upgrade the connector end. So to upgrade the connector ends, you just cut it right here, boom. Kinda scary, but yeah, you have to do it that way. Then, next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and cut it and splice it. There's two wires, you're gonna have a negative and you're gonna have a positive wire in here. So you just go ahead and you wanna make it the width of your thumb. So let's go ahead and splice that. And you just wanna score the sides. Don't cut all the way through because you're gonna cut the, the thin wires inside. You just wanna rotate it and press down slightly. You wanna cut that outside sleeve off. And then you twist it like that back and forth. And it should come out like that. This metal sleeve goes on first. Make sure you put it on the right way. This is where you screw it on right here. So that's gonna be down on the outside of the cable. So you're gonna have it like that, okay? And then you put the clear tube on, just like that. And that goes inside the metal casing. And then you take the, the ground wire and then separate it from the center wire. And then you twist it up, just like that. Just clean off the ends. And I'm, I'm scraping it because it could have oxidation and you want it shiny. Next, I'm gonna use my razor and I'm gonna cut the tip off right here. Now there's two sleeves. There's uh, the black sleeve and then there's a clear sleeve under that. Pull that off. Now under that black sleeve is a clear tube and then uh, exposing the copper wire. And just like that. All right, so now we got the shiny copper wire right here and then you got your shiny copper wire right here. Well, at least the tip is shiny. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this wire that is the center wire and that's the positive and that's gonna go in that hole right here. So see how that the center right there has a little tab? You wanna put the center wire through that hole just like that. And then the reason why you want it this, the width of your thumb is because see how these lock tabs right here, they are gonna bite into the outside sleeve of the guitar cable. And then let's lock it in right there. And that's actually not locked in, believe it or not. It looks like it, but it's really not. You wanna put the tip and the tip has to go into the cable just so enough so it's biting into it. And the same thing goes to that one, and you wanna bite into that cable. If you press too hard, you're gonna cause impedance on the wires and it's gonna affect your signal and lower the quality of your audio. So let's go ahead and run that through. That hole. Just like that. And I'm gonna like that and fold it down. So right here, this is what it's gonna look like. And you do not wanna have it touch this. You wanna make sure it stays on that tab and there's no stray wires touching the bottom. 
you know, right here, the bottom tab. And it should be hot enough to apply the solder now. Almost. A little bit more, there it goes. And you wanna just let it soak in and stop. That should be good enough. The bottom one, it may take a little bit longer because it's more metal and it has, it takes longer to heat up to absorb the heat. And just let it soak in. All right, let's see if that's gonna work right there. Should be all right. We're gonna um, test it out and see if that is gonna be, oof, that's freaking hot. Let's go ahead and use pliers to touch that. And it looks like it is, looks like it's on there pretty good. Just like that. And then the metal sleeve, you wanna twist it on right here. So now you just replaced your plastic crappy cable connector with a nice quality metal connector that you can later on maintenance. Let's go ahead and test it out and see if it's good. video was informative and it helped you out give me a big thumbs up and share this video to anyone that you know this video may help and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more easy common tech fixes like this one